Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to fix the upload failed to write file to disk error in WordPress. Now, if you're new to WordPress, possibly you have a new web host or you have a new server, there's a good chance that the permissions may not be set correctly. And this is the most typical reasons why you will get an error like this to let you know that it cannot write on a disk. So it's one of those things we have to go in and change the permissions so that you can upload the files that you want. So say perhaps you're working on an image or you're working on a blog post or something like that and you're trying to upload a file and it simply will not work, usually it's because some sort of file permission. So let's go in and fix that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our web server using an FTP client. Now I'm using FileZilla. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the directories and change the file permissions so that we can access them and now write on the disk. And what that means is that we're going to give permission that we can upload our images and things like that. So because say our images are in the content folder, we're going to go to wp-content and now we're going to open this and go to the very bottom where it says file permissions. And again, your FTP client might be different. Again, I'm using FileZilla. So we're going to open up file permissions here. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the value of 755 or 755. And now we're going to also make sure we check the box that says recurse in the subdirectories and then apply to directories option. You can save that. And now we're going to go back in again. And now we're going to enter the number of 644. Again, we're going to make sure it's recurse in subdirectories and again, apply to files only option. We're going to click OK. And now your FTP client has set the file permissions 644 with all the files within the WP content folder. Now simply go back to your website and try to upload your image or do whatever you're doing again and the error should be corrected. If after changing the file permissions, you are still having this error, it could simply be that you have to contact your web hosting provider to ask them about emptying your temporary files directory. You see, WordPress uploads your images and then saves it first as a temporary directory on your web server, and then it moves it to your uploads folder. So if your temporary directory is full or not configured correctly, this will make it where you cannot write the file to the disk which will then cause the error to happen. So again, you may simply have to contact your web hosting provider if this simple fix does not work for you. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.